All right, here with Lake Titter head football coach Hank Sawyer as his Titans have concluded their preseason scrimmage with the Woolside Wolverines from Newport News. Annual scrimmage with your pal Danny Dodson as you guys beat the heat and the uh, thunderstorms are coming, Coach. Uh, right. What did you like most? There were some pluses, some minuses from both squads. It felt like you got better as the scrimmage went along today. Yeah, yeah. We Defensively, we made we stopped the run. We, we had some challenges against the pass, just kind of relaxing it. Even though it's a scrimmage, you know, you know they're gonna not know what the down and distance is, fourth and long, and you got you got to play the pass, you know, keep everything in front of you. But I thought, considering the kids didn't have a scrimmage last year and we played, you know, the 11 games last year, we I, I'm happy with it. And then I got something on film to show them. instead of them listening to me bark at them, they'll see their own mistakes. Have you seen a different level of dedication and um, attention to detail this offseason? Because I know last year wasn't the typical Lake Taylor team. You guys have been in numerous state championship games, won a few of those titles. Yes. Have you sensed that from that group? Yeah, I sensed that. And they, you know, it was it's pretty. We, we had a lot of success, but you see how quiet the huddle up was. That's because they know the little things. And sometimes when you let a guy complete a pass or you let a guy get outside of you, you let the other 10 guys or the team down. Mm -hmm. You know, and so they got, so they're focusing on that and understanding that. So, we know we're looking like we used to look in the past. Mm -hmm. we don't, we're not looking like we did last year, so that's a plus. And you know, we have, we have a couple, we have first team and a second team, so the numbers are up a little more. So when the numbers up better, you scrimmage, you practice better. Yeah, a couple of the wow moments came from uh, Terry on Washington Jacobs and Elijah Washington. Washington Jacobs was a two-way guy for you last year, Eastern District Player of the Year, running back, linebacker, had a monster hit, and in Washington's case. Uh, had a nice one-handed snag in the corner there in the end zone for a touchdown. How much are those guys going to be focal points as you go? Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's it. You know, uh, they're pretty good. Uh, a, a kid transferred here from Booker T. Washington, a little back. He's pretty good. And uh, Chuck's out sick, hurt right now, but that gives us a one, two, three punch. Well, back and, is Drew Rogers, right? Yeah, yeah, back is Drew Rogers, and he ran hard in there. And they really couldn't tackle him. He's got to learn how to hit the 45 on the veer. There was some holes there, and he just didn't see him because he's so used to running down here straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Terry Young and, and, and Moss, and, uh, my tight end, he caught a few passes. Yeah, Justin Edwards, right? Justin Edwards, and he's going to make people have to defend him because if you don't defend him, he can catch the football. And of course, the day was more than pass. We were trying to establish the running. And, and God, the quarterback position, it, it looked really good because that's the best we looked since Jeff. Foster left us, so we feel good about you get that. Two guys there, right? So yeah, two guys. Uh, we got uh, and Jameer Freeman. Yeah, they're battling for it, and both of them. Uh, Jeremiah throws the ball pretty well. He's got to learn the veer. Uh, uh, sporty, a uh, wide Jameer Freeman. He he runs the veer really well, and he's a smart kid. And mm -hmm. We're just really happy with. I know the coach is really happy with uh, the success we had today, mm -hmm. but you can't focus on the success. You got to focus on the mistakes you made, mm -hmm. and some of it. It made because we've been in the gym and some of them got a little a little tired. And, and Lake Taylor, it's going to be five, maybe six kids play both ways. It, that, that's just the nature of the beast. You, you made know? a comment, I think, in your state championship teams, you never had more than, what, 40 kids? Yeah, that? not having that. The most we ever had was 36 wow. and all six of them. So we're, we're used to that and all. And uh, a lot of people counted us out last year. And right now we're taking it one practice at a time. But considering how much the team's been in the gym, we're really happy about, I know Danny at Woodside, he's happy about the success because he's been either early morning or in the gym as well. Yeah, and lastly, I think you're now the dean of coaches since Mike Smith decided to retire. So you've been like the, the guy that's been on the block the longest here. What do you get and try to take from scrimmage one to scrimmage two as you gear up for your opener with Nork? I think your next scrimmage is Petersburg. And you yeah. went against a very big uh, and impressive looking Woodside team. Yeah, yeah, they're very big and we handled ourselves pretty good up there. Mm -hmm. What I take away is whether we made a mistakes we have to improve the next uh, scrimmage. However, Woodside has some big guys, so it's an awesome scrimmage for us. And uh, no matter what anybody say, they were in the regional championship last year against uh, Maury. Mm -hmm. And so they, they have some kids and, and, and some good things, and they're trying to have some success. And all I just tell you is you can count us out if you want to. But we're coming back. Well, we you know, know better than that. Yeah. So, uh, look forward <laughs> yeah. to the Titans as we're surging this coming year. Coach Hank Sawyer, thank you so much and all the best. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks for coming out.